Whiskey was distilled on the property during the gold mining era. We grow a lot of grain here, and it's a fantastic climate for maturing whiskey. So we thought we'd pick up the ball and run with it. I think Kiwi farmers, we, we're pretty good at improvisation, use the initiative, and instead of trying to change the land, let it work in conjunction with us. It's just a matter of looking around you and seeing what's, what's available, and you're basically a long time dead, so yeah, go for it. We are John and Susan Elliott, we're farmers and distillers here in the Manitoto. We part here in the Payrell Valley, colloquially known as the Sticks Valley, on 5,250 hectares. My grandfather purchased the property in the 1920s and then my father was here for 60 years. My wife Susie and myself took over in the early 2000s and my two sons are on the hills of myself so no, it's all going really good. We're predominantly a sheep and beef farm, been quite a lot of grain now and just diversified in the recent years to a distillery so it's all go. Good 100, 110 day feeding out period, hard frost, a lot of snow, yeah, fairly harsh climate here, 2,000 feet where I stand, up to a bit over 3,300 feet. The neighbours are 50 kilometres in one direction, the other one's about 35 in the other one, and uh, yeah, several k's down the road to our nearest neighbours, so yeah, it's a long way up for a lot of people, but for us, you're only as close as, as your telephone. A lot of things are done on the internet nowadays, so okay. we're just used to it. Because Pretty much all in-house here, we do all our own ploughing, cultivation, harvesting. Susie's really the, the, the linchpin, keeps us all together. It's just basically all a big family farm, really. New Business is a uh, whisky distillery operation. We've been to Scotland, to the Lamb Moors on Scotland. We're basically identical and they produce some pretty good whisky, so we thought, well, we'll have a go ourselves. It's a very low cost operation. The distillery itself was home built, milled by the timber on the farm, so everything was just done by ourselves. We produce whisky and also gin, which is a short term turnaround, so it's out for sale now. It's been a real nice lease of life and a great hobby, and, and a lot of excitement in the general public about it. So we'll just see how it all pans out in the next decade or so. Something to look forward to. Jeff Braid again. The Manitou is a marvellous place to farm, particularly in the summertime, a little bit harsher in the wintertime. But today's rain is tomorrow's whiskey, so uh, I don't know if we could live anywhere else. We just love the, the mini toto.